Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for a new video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about in-ear monitor systems, specifically the wireless type, and specifically this one that was sent to me that we're gonna be doing a brief unboxing with. And then I'm gonna take down to the kit. I'm gonna do a little review after that and tell you actually what I find about it. Now, the one thing I'll mention before we get into any of this is although this company sent me the product, I'm gonna be doing a completely honest review of it. So this is my genuine opinions. They didn't pay me to do this video. They just sent me the product with hopes that I would do the video and I am doing the video and we'll see what I honestly think of the product. Now I do have a wireless monitor in-ear system already and they can be extremely expensive. So the thing I guess I want to figure out with this guy is at its very low price point, does it still deliver on the quality and the consistency that my more expensive, more professional rig does for me already? So that's really what we're going to try and isolate down because if it does, it's this would be a really great solution for a lot of artists to get some kind of monitor system on stage right away, especially for guys who, you know, are doing like like smaller gigs, local bar gigs or coffee shop gigs. This might be really sick for them. So the company is X Vive and the monitor system that they sent me specifically is the U4 in-ear monitor wireless system. So I'm gonna read just some of the things off the box here. Just on the front, they have more than 90 feet range, less than five millisecond latency. It says five hours of battery life. On one side, I have aux line. Line says use with mixers or other professional audio devices that send line level signals. And then the next one's aux, use when connecting to consumer audio devices such as portable audio players or computers. All right, so checking out the back, let's see what some of the features they have. Now, I'm gonna read these out. I'm gonna read them out just through the list, but the thing about a lot of these is like, none of this is really that special. All of this is just like basic sort of industry standard levels for what you would expect in a system like this. None of it really jumps out at me as being something that this device is exclusively offering because the big sell with this, I think, is the price point. It's not necessarily the feature because it's just delivering on a product that you can already purchase in many other various forms, but it's delivering it at a relatively inexpensive price point in comparison to some of the common professional brands that exist on the market already. So running through these features, 2.4 gigahertz wireless in-ear monitor system, dynamic range, 107 decibels. Up to 107 decibel signal to noise ratio provides clear detailed audio at any volume. Five hours of battery life, rechargeable battery for both transmitter and receiver. Okay, that's actually cool because that goes through a shit ton of double a batteries with my current wireless packs solid rf connection over a 90 feet range actual range depends on rf signal absorption reflection and interference so if there's interference from another device could shorten the range next we have 20 to 20 000 hertz frequency response of course the human range mono balanced xlr or mono unbalanced ts input so this is only mono not stereo that right there makes sense as to why it'd be a lower price point so you can't do stereo mixes into this guy and me personally i like having a stereo mix in my ears you don't need it. I mean, I don't need it. It's just a personal preference. For the price point, you're willing to make that sacrifice to get a cheaper system that can mostly deliver on what you need, except doesn't have stereo options. I think that's totally cool. I mean, at this price point, I, I, you can't expect to, them to have everything that the higher end models are going to have. Less than five millisecond latency simultaneously broadcasts on six channels. And then the final feature they have listed here is provides smooth frequency response with headphones. Well, I'd hope so. <laughs> because I believe it's just going to be like most packs, it's just probably going to be an eighth of inch connection out the top of the pack, so it's gonna work for any standard headphone jack. Yes, headphone jacks still exist in the world, all of you iPhone users. Okay, let's, uh, let's actually get to unboxing this guy. Pop this plastic cover off. This uh, transmitter is super interesting because it looks like it literally just, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like it definitely just connects to an XLR connection. And it looks like here there's a USB type C port, I think, for charging, probably. And we have aux line, power, mute. I'm not sure what this button in the middle is going to do. And then that button there is the actual release for the XLR connection. I guess this thing sticking out the bottom is just like an antenna, probably. That makes sense. And here is the actual pack. The thing about this right away too, like just looking at it, is if, you, uh, if you're one of the guys who are gonna take this on stage at some point, it's definitely gonna stick out. I, I, I've never seen packs look like this. Also look this small, mine are double this size. So on top we have an on off, and then we have that we have that threaded eighth of inch port that I was talking about. And then I'm not sure what these dials are. These might have to do with frequencies. Oh, this V, okay, that's probably volume. And then this might be to do with frequencies. There's numbers on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you can't rotate 
rotate it, but you can press it. Oh, I wonder. Okay, let's turn it on. All right, it's on, it's on one, and then I can cycle through. Okay, that's it. So there's six separate frequencies. That's what they were saying on the back when they said here, less than five millisecond latency, simultaneous broadcast across six channels. I'll turn this guy off for now. Let's see if there's anything else in this box before I head on down to the kit to actually test this out. Instruction manual at the back. I guess we have a little pamphlet here with some of their other units. They do have some like pretty interesting design. Oh, sticker, business card. They do have some kind of interesting products. Here, this thing is a wireless guitar transmitter. The U2T automatically links to receiver compatible with U2 guitar wireless system. It's like the same idea was this thing, just a like cheap version of an actual guitar wireless. With that out of the way, let's continue on with this unboxing and see if there's anything in the back of this. Yep, of course there has to be, right? Because we still need something for power. Okay, so we have here, yeah, it's just a USB cable for charging. Then we have a little carry case to actually transport it. And then what's this guy? Oh, cool. So this, these are super common. I mean, I guess they're not commonly used, but you can get, you can pick up this at any music store. We have a uh, XLR to quarter inch, mono quarter inch adapter. I wonder what applications I could actually find for this. It's kind of a rare piece to like really be using, right? So I took a second, I came downstairs uh, to the full kit, I plugged the transmitter into my monitor mixer, and then I fed 10,000 fists by Disturbed. I played the first half of that record, because I love jamming to that record. Just a really fun record to jam to. It's not really important to the video, I'll get back to it. Basically, I really, really do like this product, actually. Like, it blew me away at how simple it is. There's no features, you know? There's no bells and whistles, there's nothing to worry about. There's no links in the chain that could really break. It's just a simple, easy to use product. It's plug and play and you're good to go. And I really like that about it. The signal the entire time I was playing held up just fine. I actually found that it was a slightly cleaner signal than my current wireless packs, which really, really surprised me because I definitely invested some money into my current wireless unit. So the fact that this was a little bit cleaner shocked me for sure. This guy too is a lot lighter than the wireless packs that I typically wear around my waist. Not that that's ever the biggest deal, especially in a studio setting, because there's no need to necessarily even have a dedicated wireless in-ear pack in a studio. Like you would almost never see that. I just do it because this space is more of a set than a studio. And I like the ability to keep the floor clean of cables, but also the ability to jump up and work on anything because it's just me down here, work on anything if I need to, like adjust a light fixture or change a camera angle. Anything that I need to do, I can just jump off the kit. I don't have to worry about unplugging cables and plugging them back in. I really like the product is what I'm getting at. I definitely can recommend you, uh, you check this out. The cheapest, I'm not sure about this. I think, I'm just going off my memory, but I think like the cheapest competitor to this that's by a well-known brand is probably there's a unit that you can buy from Line 6. And I think that is $600 here in Canada. So I guess it'd be about $400 in the States. This is cheaper than that. On the wireless pack, there is volume knob and then there's six individual channels. As I mentioned before, same here. You just click through the individual channels and sync up the two numbers. So as long as this li is lighting up on channel two and this is lighting up on channel two and you have connectivity and you can plug in headphones and you can listen to the signal you're trying to get into this. Another thing I liked, and this is just like, I guess, attention to detail, it came out of the box charged. The very last product that I reviewed on this channel was that Soundbrenner Core Steel, was the uh, the wearable metronome. That was like the first sign and symptom that I wasn't too happy with, I guess, with the product. It's just attention to details, you know? At least have like a half charge on the product so that I can take it out and use it right away. So this came out of the box charge, which is sweet. I know that's just a minor detail, but I really liked that, that I could just come down here right away, try it out. Um, and then outside of that, the only negative thing that I'm gonna say, the affordability comes at a cost to durability, especially the transmitter. The receiver is pretty good. I think like just because there's not many parts to the receiver, it's just two pieces that make up the body. The top plate is just screwed to the bottom. So that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. The, the transmitter though is a couple pieces of plastic and the way it's fit together just is not perfect. This locking mechanism for the XLR, even right now is not really working. It's kind of stuck. I don't know. That's, that's the big thing is like, you're sacrificing durability for that affordability, as I mentioned. I don't know, that's all I pretty much have to say about the product. Because there's not an extensive list of features, there's not really a lot for me to check out with it. The only sort of thing that is a feature quote unquote about it, I guess, is just the fact that it comes with that attachment. So you can plug this in to an XLR connection or you can plug it into a quarter inch headphone jack, which is 
cool. I mean, it's no really big deal in comparison to other transmitters because like there's a lot of connection options when you're setting up a, like a rig. So yeah, I can definitely recommend you check this out. I will include all the product info so you can check it out in the description below. I hope that for some of you that have maybe considered stepping into the wireless in your space, but get intimidated by the large price tags, I hope that this is a good entry product for you guys. To sort of step your foot in the door and try it out and see what it's like on stage or in any of the performance settings that you find yourself in. So definitely check all that out in the description below. As I said at the beginning, they did not pay me to do this video. So this is just my genuine opinion. I enjoyed just trying it out here today and I can definitely see myself finding other applications for this down the line. That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you to XVibe for sending this product. You can connect with me further at the social media pages that are on the screen for you right now. You can support this channel if you enjoy content like this through the merch link and the Patreon link in the description below. Thanks so much for checking out this video and I will see you guys all very soon with something new.